I'm going to show you two of my favorite things in the world. Coffee and magic. I'm going to combine the two. Now, the coffee will be represented by the coffee cups. Nice and simple. The magic, I'm actually going to teach you the five fundamentals of magic. So there's five main things that encompass all magic tricks. The cool thing about the cups and balls is that these run all five, where most tricks do one or two. And we're going to go through them. So to represent magic visually, I've got the classic magic wand, right? Now the first part of fundamental of magic is the appearance. So if we look at the bottom cup, you'll notice the appearance of a bean on the bottom cup. Now one is cool, but we need three for the trick to work. So that's one, two, and three. Now that's the appearance, we can move down to the vanish. The vanish is where we take one of the beans, we touch it with the magic wand, and it vanishes. We can do it again. We take the second one, touch it with the magic wand, and it vanishes. That's one and two, leaving number three my favorite. My favorite because you'll see the second this one goes, just like the others, they don't go far, they go under the cups. So that takes care of the appearance and the vanish. The next is the transposition. I never knew what that meant, so I'll show you visually. That's where you put one bean under each cup, and then I use the wand to steal the middle bean and have it transpose over to here. So gone from the middle and right over to here. Now my mentor said you should never repeat a magic trick. Never do it twice. So I like to do a trick twice. I'm gonna do that. We're gonna put one bean under each cup and just like before, we're gonna have it transpose. But this time we'll take the end ones and knock them into the middle. Gone from the ends and all three into the middle. Now if you look here, it says defy nature. What the hell does that mean, right? I think defy nature means something like a solid object going through a solid object, defying the laws of nature. Or better still, if we took two cups and passed one solid cup through another solid cup, that defies the laws of nature, right? I think the easiest magic tricks in the world should be really simple to follow. For instance, three beans in a cup. I put one bean, two beans in the cup, and one bean goes in my pocket. All I have to do is tap the cup, and we have three beans once again. So again, that's one bean in the cup, that's two beans in the cup, one bean goes in the pocket. All I have to do is tap, and once again, three beans come out. So very simple to follow, right? Now, I'll be honest with you here. The trick is not in the cups. The trick is not in the wand. The trick is actually in the beans themselves. Let me explain. If I take one of the beans, I put it in my pocket, and I just tap my pocket and then the cup, that bean will come right back under the cup. We can do it again. If I take a bean, place it in the pocket, I tap the pocket, tap the cup, sure enough, the bean comes back under the cup. Now, some people don't think I'm really doing what I say I'm doing, so I'll do it very slowly. One bean into the pocket. All I do is tap the pocket and tap the cup, and sure enough, one bean comes back. Now the last fundamental of magic is called transformation. Transforming from one thing to the next, like we're all trying to do in life. So for instance, maybe we're transforming a small bean into a much larger one, the transformation. If you missed that one, you might have missed the transformation of these ones also. And that's my story. Thank you very much. I'm sticking to it. Now the best part, they think the trick is done, right? And in this moment, we get the grand finale. They're not loaded, but what you would get is, boom, an explosion of coffee beans on each side, and then a cheers to the audience. As you cheers them, a liquid load comes out, right? So the loading system hangs off the back of the table. This is the one that holds the coffee beans. It's adhered with three magnets. All I have to do is casually come to the end of the table and that magnetizes in automatically. Does that on both sides, as well as the liquid load in the middle. So you pour liquid on one side, roll it over and it's stored in there. Once I steal this off, all I have to do is tip the cup up, that makes the liquid fall into the other side, snap, I put a shot glass down and I pour out espresso, right? Also because all three cups are chopped, we also supply a bean that is shimmed, but it's shimmed and weighted very perfectly so you can do your favorite chop cup routine without having to slam the cup down. So you can do the, do you hear the bean in there? Great. Is that bean in my pocket or under the cup? I'll give you a hint pocket or cup, and just in that motion the bean will dislodge, right? 
So that's the coffee cups and beans. You get everything you see plus the metal arms. These metal arms go under your table, out of the sight line, and those obviously hold your final loads. And again, the final load is boom, casually come over, touch it for a second, and you're loaded in, all right? So that's the coffee cups and beans. Thank you very much.